We can go part way into here. That is bizarre looking, man. That oh, something hostile. Oh, ah! it's a big spider. Ouch. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to uh, continue setting up our, our first factory here. Uh, so when I left you in the last episode, I finished uh, setting up our biomass uh, power grid here. And so I have nine um, biomass burners currently running, and they all have some biomass uh, or biofuel in them, but they're not all uh, completely filled up yet. So... Uh, we're just, you know, letting our little production line do its thing here. And I've, I've got this much solid biofuel made. And, uh, you know, what I'll do is I'll, I'll just keep, you know, periodically come over here and pull stuff out and keep filling these up until eventually we get them all maxed out. Uh, so if we take a look at our power stuff here, uh, we have a total capacity of 270 megawatts with these nine burners, um, which is about two-thirds more than we currently need um, our maximum construction or sorry consumption maximum consumption is what if everything was running completely at hundred percent all the time uh, what we would currently be drawing um, which is about yeah it's about a third of, of, our, of our total capacity uh, consumption is what's currently being used and production is what's currently being produced now um, when you only have biomass burners on your power grid and nothing else, these numbers are identical. And the reason for that is because uh, biomass burners only output the energy that's needed. They don't output, you know, like a set amount of energy. However, if we had, um, if we had coal power plants, let's say, for example, we had 100 megawatts of coal power, um, then we would have a steady production of 100 megawatts and the consumption would be different than that um, unless it happened to also be 100 megawatts. Okay, so that's how all that works, but we have uh, lots of power to play with right now. We won't need to do anything more in terms of adding more of these uh, for a while, if ever, you know, just to kind of depending upon how quickly we get to coal. All right, so um, the other thing I want to get going in this episode, and I probably, you know, should have done this a little sooner, but, you know, shut up, cut a what, who gives a shit, we're just having fun and not worrying about it, is <laughs> uh, is we want to get the MAM set up too so we start doing some research. Um, but I think what I want to do is I want to move the hub and the workshop up onto the factory floor and put them in their, you know, sort, sort of kind of semi-permanent location. I've already moved all of the stuff out of this personal storage here and put it up in that storage box right there. So that's kind of my quote unquote personal storage at the moment. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, take down our hub here and we're gonna relocate it up onto the factory floor. And I think what we'll do for that is, I, I wanna leave this central, uh, you know, these two central uh, tiles here, I guess, if you will, just, just open. Um, you could kind of think of that almost as, you know, like our main street. And then what we'll do then is we will put our hub kind of right in the center. Um, so let's see, these are, are we 10 or nine tiles? I think we're 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And, oh, we're just nine. Let me try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten yeah no we're ten <clears throat> excuse me so all right so if we come one two three four five this is the center line right here okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take and put our hub um right here like that okay and so that's now going to be our hubs semi-permanent location at least until you know we move to uh you know to our bigger factory that the plan is to make along the west coast a little bit later on okay good so now let's grab our our workshop and we're gonna put that uh 
I think what we'll do is let's put the workshop over here. Uh, special. Uh, here it is. Equipment workshop. Okay. And we'll turn it around. And we'll set that. Yeah, let's put the workshop right there. And then what we'll do is we'll put the MAM right next to it. So I'll go to special. Go to MAM. And we'll put the MAM... Yeah, I think that works. Cause because that way we can make this um this is a little bit wider than a single tile, isn't it? This can also be kind of be like a a corridor going down this way. Incidentally, um I did install um NVIDIA or not NVIDIA, I'm sorry, AMD just came out with some new graphics drivers, uh, which I installed, but I still I'm still getting that really weird glitchy stuff going on, so I don't know. Um, the last time I played this game, I, I did have an NVIDIA graphics card, so I don't know, maybe it's a, it's related to AMD cards or something, uh, but I still don't know why, why the hell that's happening. Uh, if some of you have left comments to that effect, I haven't seen them yet because I've recorded these first few episodes, not quite back to back, but, um, you know, be, before the first episode is released, which will actually be tomorrow on May the 2nd. Yeah, May 2nd. Okay, anyway, um... So let's go to, to the MAM now, and you know what else I think I want to do is, why don't we take our personal storage, here let's just do this, and we'll stick it here, because I'm not planning on using these biomass burners for any reason. Um, so we'll just put this right there. Uh, now let's let's actually center that on the yeah on the hub itself just just so it looks nice and neat. The other thing, if I really wanted to get nitpicky about this, is is we could center the hub on this line as well. Um. Yeah, let's uh. Let's do that just because, just because, just because I want to. Okay, leave me alone. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go get the hub again. And we had it turned this way here. And I think it was right about, here, let's get right over the center line. Hold on. Is that where I had that? No, I, I, I held it too far this way. So I'm saying I'm thinking maybe right about there. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty darn good. Um just because it lines back up again kind of with what what I where I put these two buildings. But we've also lined it up on center with this. Okay. I'm happy with that. Right. Now we're going to put our personal storage right here. And then we're going to grab everything out of here. And Put all this stuff in here. I want to keep um, the barrel nuts. We want to save the flowers for later because we'll need those for dye. Uh, we don't need two stacks of barrel nuts, however. And then um, take all of that stuff and get rid of that. Okay. Good. So, First thing we want to do is we want to research some stuff in the MAM. And I'm interested in sulfur because this should get us to the uh, Blade Runners, which will allow us to move faster, jump higher, take more fall damage. And I also want to do alien organisms because this will get us to the rebar gun. 
Um, so let's grab, let's do the sulfur first. So th this is just sulfur that I picked up, you know, picked by hand. Um, and so let's research this. It only takes three seconds. Excellent. Okay. Um... Oh, wait a minute. Is the No, I think I'm in the wrong spot. We actually want to get uh Nobilis, though too because we can use those to blow up the, p the poison plants, which is actually a new feature. Um So is it Initial planter skins indicate an unknown crystalline mineral is present on massage 2AB B. Unknown crystalline material. Where's the one where we use the quartz? Is that is that it? It doesn't know what quartz is? I don't know. I'm confused. Here, let's grab slugs. Let's grab the little bit of caterium that we have. Uh, I got... Uh, uh, let's grab the mycelium and all these bug parts. Oh, well, speaking of which, I got attacked by some spiders. Yeah, um, so that was fun. Uh, but it gave us spider parts. Okay, so let's go to alien organisms. We'll do hog research. Okay, so that... Uh, oh, okay, so that opened up the rebar gun for us. Um, do we have... Wait a minute. Re research parent node to make available. Oh, we have to. Uh, I guess we have to research that first. Okay. Well, here, let's um, let's research this. Do we have to research all of these things? I'm a, I'm a little corn fuzzled here. Okay, research this. Okay. So that, those are research. Now we need to do this, and we need an alien DNA capsule and biomass. Uh, is that something? I don't remember alien DNA capsules in Update 5. Hog protein hatcher, stinger, spitter. Hmm, how do we... Okay, hold on a sec. Go back here. Go to alien organisms. Can't afford. How do I get an alien DNA capsule? Oh, no, no, no. That's the rewards. We need... Okay, yeah. We need five of whatever these this is. What is that? Alien protein. Does it matter what kind of protein? Yeah, it, it probably doesn't matter. Okay, so let's make five of these. Okay. Now, we go here. And research. There we go. Okay. So... So did that just oh, oh, uh, unlock the the thingy? Yeah. Okay. Good. The DNA capsule. Nice. And we can do that with one protein. Alien organisms. Structural analysis. That uh, that's medicine. That's good. What is this? More pockets. B bigger tool belt. Hostile organism detection. All right. So for this, we need... To, yeah, we need five DNAs and a hundred uh, rods. Okay, so let's... Let's make more of these. Okay. 
Okay, now let's make five of these. Okay, and then let's go grab some rods. Because I would very much like to have the rebar gun. It's uh, much better than, than the little zapper thingy here. Okay, let's grab a, maybe a couple stacks of rods there. Oh, man. I wanted to hold this back. Okay, I'll fix that later. It's it's blocking half of my main street. I need to move it another tile this way. I'll do that later. Okay, so let's go to alien organisms. Let's research structural analysis. And now, rebar gun. Damn, we're going to need 25 rotors for that. Um, which we should be able to make in here. Yeah, we can make 34. Okay, let's do it. We'll make 25. All right, and then it also needed or needs 50 reinforced plates. Holy crap, that thing's expensive. All right, well, we can make 20 now, and then I'll go get the rest of the stuff to make the other 30. All right, we have everything we need to make the rebar gun, or research the rebar gun, I guess I should say. Excellent. Okay, now to make it, I believe we have to do that over here. Rebar gun. All right, so you just want six more uh, reinforced plates. That's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay. Let's make the rebar gun. Huzzah. Okay. Nice. And of course, we need to make rebar for the ammo. So I think I'll make, uh, let's make a hundred of these. Or whatever. Yeah, we'll make a hundred. I don't know what a full stack is, but we'll start with a hundred. Yep. One hundred in a stack and one to load. All right, we are armed and dangerous, ladies and gentlemen. Armed and dangerous. Yes, we are. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now, um, let's go back to here. So for the rest of the alien organism stuff, um, I don't know that I want six inventory slots. Hmm. Do I want to, do I want to burn a thousand of these? I mean, we can afford to do that. Six inventory slots would be nice. Uh, we can't make the, uh, whatever those reinforced steel channel thingamadoodles are yet. So we can't do this even if we wanted to. And we can't, yeah, we don't have the stuff that we need to do this yet either. But we could do this. Um, and, oh, you know what? Actually, I think I might actually rather do this because this is like really good healing. Medicinal inhaler. Um, we'd have to make 50 rotors to do this guy, though. Um, why not? Let's do it. Okay, we have everything we need to make the protein inhaler. Or, I'm sorry, research the protein inhaler. And, um, six more inventory slots. Should we just get it out of the way? Um, why don't we? I, I've got some more. I, I turned all of my bug parts into protein because it's not really any reason not to. Because, you know, even though they come from different bugs, ouch, um, once you turn them into protein, it's all just the same thing. So we need a thousand cables. 
to uh, to open these slots. All right, so let's see. I currently have one, two, three, four. Okay, there's a thousand there, but I want to have a couple extra stacks in my inventory for other things. Now, I don't remember what we need to actually make the inhaler. So hopefully we can do that. And if we can, then we don't have to carry, you know, nuts and bacon inventory and all that kind of stuff in our... Uh, or bacon mushrooms in our inventory. Okay, so let's research this. So that should have just... Yeah, that just automatically gave us eight more slots, which is great. Okay, now, to make the inhaler... Uh, we just need alien protein and barrel nuts. Okay, so we can make a total of four. And we're, we're going to have to go out and hunt some more aliens. Alien critters. Excellent. Okay, so we don't need to carry barrel nuts in our inventory. I might keep the, the bacon mushrooms just as a backup. Uh, but we don't want, no longer need to carry the, the nuts. All right, what else can we do? Um, let's let's go ahead and research the mycelia. Uh, I got some of that. Let's see what that opens up. Toxic cellular modification fabric. We need that for the parachute, among other things, and med medical properties, which might get us better healing later. But that requires. Um, I can't remember what those things are called. Those, those like coil thingamadoodles. Um, so yeah, we can't do anything more with that right now. Okay, let's do, let's do power slugs. All I have at the moment are blue slugs. But this rebar gun will help us get better ones because then we can kill the bad bats that are trying to prevent us from doing it. Uh, wait. Oh, did I not? I thought I put those in my inventory. I did put them in my inventory. No, I put them in storage. Duh. Can't take me anywhere. All right, uh, power slugs. Okay. Uh, overclock production will require one power shard, some plates, and some stuff. Uh, I think we make the power shards in here. Let's just make one of those. And now we can uh, research overclock. Excellent. Okay, so we won't be able to do yellows or purples until we come across. Wait a second. Yellow power shards. That's still just a blue one, isn't it? Yeah, we can do that one right now. That didn't do anything for us, or... Wait, what did that do for us? Rewards. That... Did that give us an extra slug? I wasn't paying attention. Rewards, a scannable object. Yeah, it looks like it gave us an extra slug. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, but we need to find a yellow one to unlock this one and then a, a purple one to unlock this one. And that's just going to give us uh, even more powerful power shards. But now we, now we have the ability to both overclock and underclock, which is good stuff. Okay. But for now, let's just put the slugs back in here. Okay, next is, we do have some Caterium. Let's research that. Okay, and that's gonna give us access to Caterium ingots, quick wire. Um, this is really good for feeding into the awesome sink in the early game, and rebar that will stun instead of apparently kill, which is not particularly useful to us because we wanna, I know this sounds cruel, but we want to kill the aliens to get their parts because we need them to craft things. 
and the zip line. Okay. So, so we've done, we've done sulfur. I wish I would tell you what these were. I think, I think this is what we need. And I think this is quartz. Um, but we don't, yeah, we don't have the ability to scan quartz. We're going to have to find it. Um, so that will be on the, the to-do list and something we should probably prioritize fairly soon just because I believe that's what's going to unlock our our Blade Runners. Okay, well, that was good, though. We, we, we got a lot of stuff. Um, oh, actually, we yeah, we have nutrients. We could do those, too. Let's do those. Um, we need barrel nut. And I haven't seen the pale berries anywhere around this area, so we'll have to keep, be on the lookout for those too. Nutritional processor. Um, that, yeah, that requires uh, steel piping. We can't make that stuff yet, so we'll have to. Well, at least I don't think we can. I'm pretty sure. Well, actually, can we? Um, I don't think so. We have to wait on that one. Okay. But that's good. We made we made pretty decent progress uh, with just that stuff that we've done. And most importantly, we got the rebar gun, which is just amazing. Um, I also moved all of this stuff over uh, in that, you know, uh, in between the the cuts there. Uh, so now this is not no longer right in the middle of the road. Excellent. Okay, so I'll tell you what, um, I lied to you. We're not. <laughs> sorry, uh, we're not gonna. We're actually not gonna move the factory up here in this episode, just because you know doing all this research stuff took more time than I was anticipating. But but what we are gonna do is I think we're gonna go see if we can find some quartz. Um, and what else did we need for more inhalers? Uh, I think we just need more bug protein, right? Uh, bug protein and barrel nuts. Yeah. So let's go hunting. Um, and that will also allow us to get other resources. Maybe we can come across like a yellow slug or even better, a purple slug. And do I want the object scanner? I think, yeah, this will allow us to find things like hard drives, and, and so that would not be a bad idea to get that either. We need to make four reinforced plates. Here we go. Okay. Hmm. I wonder why it doesn't let us... It probably doesn't let us scan for berries because... We haven't um, we haven't discovered them yet because they don't exist in this biome. We could go up to the forest biome, which is way to the east. We would find berries there, um, or we could actually go down the coast, and I'll show you where I'm planning on um, setting up our our bigger base later. Did, it was saying there was a slug around here somewhere. This way. Here we go. Is there a slug up on top of that thing? I don't think we can get up there at this point. We could if we had Blade Runners. We might be able to make that jump. Gowsers! <laughs> nope! Ouch! <laughs> okay. I mean, we can... The other thing you can do in that situation is... You can build a ramp up there, too, but I... I'm wondering if it's, like, way up there. Okay, it's more closer. Yeah, I'll bet you it's up on that thingy.
Can we climb up there from here? Really? Come on, man. Get up there. You gotta be kidding me. You can't get up there? Son of a beach. What if we... No, it didn't quite work. Do a slide and jump. <laughs> okay, well, this is too much of a pain in the ass. There's other slugs that are going to be easier for us to get. Um, so let's go see if, if we can find some pale berries. We will kill some bad bats. And... Um... Maybe even grab a hard drive, too, because if we start researching a hard drive, that will allow us to, uh, you know, get alternate recipes, which are usually, you know, worth getting. Um, all right, so what do I need? If I need to make a crafting bench, uh, we just need rods and plates for that. Okay, so we'll take uh, one stack of rods. I think I'll keep all the plates and the concrete in case we need to make foundations somewhere. Uh, I don't think we need to take the cables with us out into the wild. And probably not the screws either. Oh, we're already full. Okay. That's fine. We'll take the screws with us. Okay, so... Yeah. All right. Let's go on a little trip to the south. And we'll just keep our, our thingy on. Um, you know what? There might be a slug out on this island. Unless I picked it up already. Out of range. Oh, you know what? I think I have to set up like a like a radio antenna to use this if I get <coughs> if I get out of range of like my hub uh oh well wait <coughs> excuse me sorry <coughs> something in my throat May maybe not is it because I was in the water we're gonna keep picking these too because we we need them to make the the thing oh there's a bad guy all right uh oh Hold on. Picking up multiple fixit personnel in the area. Proceed with harvest before it's too late. Okay. Let's kill this uh, plasma spitter. And that's the thing that's talking to us. But the you know, the Mercer sphere, spheres, that's what those are called. They don't. They're sub, from what I understand, they're supposed to. Comply. They're supposed to work um, when 1 0 comes out. But they still don't work here in update 8. Oh, I guess we can't use these in the water. Well, that sucks. There he is. Nice. Yeah, this uh, this gun is actually pretty powerful. Your contract legally compels you to harvest this artifact. Does it? I think you're lying to me. I think you're lying, man. Let's go see if there's anything over on this rock. Not that I can see. Okay. Well then, let, yeah, let's just head down the southern coast. We'll go on another little exploration thingy. Uh, you know what? I was going to check my biomass burners, but... If they run out, it's not that big of a deal. We've got a pretty decent accumulation of stuff going. Um, let's go ahead and... I wish I had more hand slots. We'll put you back down there. There's probably slugs up on way up there, but we're not going up there today. Okay, the way the scanner's behaving, there might be something on this little rock island here.
this way. Yeah, I'll bet you it's up there. Bet you a million bucks it's up there. All right, never mind then. Um, I don't think I want to swim that far. It'll take too long. Because uh, as you've probably noticed, your character does not swim very fast in this game. The, the Blade Runners might improve that. I don't know if they do or not. Barrel nuts. Oh wow, there's a there's a big plasma spitter over there. What's he guarding? Does he not know where we are? Takes a little longer to kill these big boys. Uh, oh, did we get him? I think we got him. Yeah, because he's not moving anymore. Nice. They gave us four animal parts. Because he was walking around over here, so that means he was guarding something. I think that's what that means anyway. What was he guarding? Oh, there's a cave there. Huh. I don't know what he would have been guarding. Can we get up here? Let's try it. Eh, I don't think so. Well, maybe. We could if we had Blade Runners. <laughs> well, that's partly what we're doing out here. We're trying to find some core. Oh, shit! Uh, Houston, panic mode. Whew. Okay, I'm glad that was just a little one. There's a Mercer Sphere. Lots of yuckety yuck in there. We can't deal with that until we get a, a gas mask or noblists to blow them guys up. We can kind of go a little ways into here. Um, there's a purple slug right up there, but there's no way in hell we're going to be able to get to it right now. into here. That is bizarre looking, man. That... Oh! Something hostile. Oh, shit! It's a big spider! Ouch! Big spider! That's cheating. Okay. 